It was a spectacular ceremony adding to the history of the Gambia Immigration Department as Intake 15 wrapped up a thorough and fulfilling recruitment procedures. Dignitaries and invited guests arrived to a befitting quarter guard at the Fajara Barracks by officers with high morals of security standings. The Director General of the Gambia Immigration Department, Sidi Mukhtar Ture, applauded the recruits and their trainers for completing a significant task for the GID. He said quality and professionalism we are not compromised in the process. I commend you for your commitment, dedication and hard work throughout your training. You have demonstrated the qualities necessary to serve with honor and integrity. As immigration officers, you will be the first line of defense protecting our nation from threats, ensuring compliance with immigration laws, and upholding our values of fairness and justice. The Minister of Interior, Siaka Sonko, acknowledged the need for this latest intake in view of increasing demand for enforcement of immigration laws and national security. This is an important milestone for the Gambia in increasing demand to expand services and the need to increase a dynamic workforce throughout the country to meet the demand, changing demands, especially in the area of migration and national security. For many years, Gambia Immigration Department displayed a rich culture of effective service delivery, which has positioned the Gambia as a leading example in the execution of laws in accordance with international best practices. The new intake comprises of 137 males and 116 females. Some of the recruits were promoted to various ranks right from their passion out parade for their outstanding performances. The Minister of Trade, Babakar Usman Juf, delivered a speech on behalf of the Vice President, Mohamed B.S. Jallo, highlighting the government's commitment to ongoing security sector reforms, which include the Immigration Department. This passing out is confirmation that the government of the Gambia is committed to the implementation of the national security sector reform agenda. We may recall that the goal of the security sector reform involves re-engineering the mission and structures of the security architecture of the country, the mindset of the public, and the culture of the security institutions to make them more responsive, accountable, and transparent, and to sustainably cater for the needs of the Gambia based on democratic norms and principles. The ceremony climaxed with a colorful march pass by officers on parade. Ibrahim Ajal, GRTS News.